well, one side of my fringe is trying to be a massive overachiever and the other side just doesn't care. I also apologise for the lighting in this video. There is a sunshine situation outside. It's sunny and filming this yesterday would have been a much better idea. Hi, it's V. Welcome back to my channel and today I thought I would do a little roundup of some of the beauty and skincare that I've got recently. It's a tiny baby mini haul because I haven't been super spendy in the beauty realm recently. More so in clothes and I do have a haul to film but the amount that is going to go in there is slightly overwhelming and I kind of don't want to do it so keep your eyes peeled for that. But today, yep, we're talking Korean beauty, Korean skincare, Korean beauty brands considering I do live in Korea and that is what of it is available to me. I have some stuff from Nature Republic, from Innisfree Moonshot, which if you don't know is YG's makeup brand, as in the entertainment company they have a makeup brand at, and Style Nanda's Beauty Line 3 Concept Eyes. I will start with skincare first because that is mostly what I was kind of really interested in when I picked these up. And I'll start with the three from Nature Republic. So the first thing that I got was a cleansing water. It is this fresh vegetable no wash cleansing water. Just so that I could have something that was by my bed that I could take my makeup off with if I was being super lazy or like cleanse in the morning if I had any like moisturiser residue left over. It came in a box with a pack of cotton rounds which I really liked and it was massively reduced from like 12,001 to about 3,001. I do have a blog post on like the little mini Nature Republic haul um, which I will leave down below if you want to read more information about it. But yeah, I've been using it so far and it doesn't dry my skin out which is great because I found that when I used the Garnier micellar waters and those sorts of cleansing waters, my skin was horrific. Tea break. So it's still too hot. The second thing that I picked up from Nature Republic, again, was super, super discounted. This was supposed to be, like, over 20,001, I think. And it is the Collagen Dream 70 Essence. I wasn't really in the market for an essence. I tend to not use one in my skincare, but with the way that my skin's been recently, I probably should start. I have used this. I used it last night. It made my skin feel amazing and it wasn't sticky or tacky to the touch and it blended in really well. It's supposed to help with elasticity and moisturising and it is with marine collagen. Yeah. It's another green bottle, pump action for the top, cap to close. Do quite like it. And the final Nature Republic item is this Green Tunnel Eye Serum. I was in the market for an eye serum. I suffer from ridiculously terrible under eye bags and just very not well moisturised skin in the eye region. And this has Rock Samphire in it. Not exactly sure what that's supposed to do. So it does contain retinol, which is a superstar ingredient for your skin. And it claims it is high performance and anti-wrinkle. I am 24, this year I turned 25, and in the realms of anti-wrinkle products, especially when you live in a city with terrible pollution problems, um, anything you can get your hands on that will help is not to be sniffed at. Next is Innisfree. I love Innisfree. Innisfree is one of my favourite stores for skincare in Korea. It's super affordable. It's a roadshop brand and they do some really really fabulous lines. And the first thing that I got was a full-sized green tea moisture skin which skin is the word they use for toner and it says it is enriched with squeezed green tea from the pure Jeju Island to deliver abundant moisture and nourishment deep into your skin. I really like this. Hannah really likes this. Um, I go through the little testers so quickly when I'm not at home. <coughs> Excuse me. And even though it kind of looks a bit gloopy in the bottle, it's not sticky or tacky to the touch. It, it absorbs into the skin really nicely. I find it is probably one of the most hydrating toners I have ever tried. 
and when I use it on my skin the next day everything just feels really plump and nice and brilliant so yes if you're looking for a toner then I highly recommend this one the next thing I got which was slightly more expensive but still not drastically so expensive that you want to kind of cry is the Innisfree Orchard Enriched Cream. My friend Jessica recommended this to me because I was looking for something that was super hydrating because cold, dry winters and my skin just aren't friends. This is formulated with Jeju Orchard Extract that penetrates deep to improve skin within. And whenever I do remember to put this on, my skin the next day does seem magically improved. Um, probably because the day before it was ridiculously dehydrated but this is um, a really nice cream like a moisturizer to put on at the end of the day let it sink in overnight kind of like wash off any residue in the morning um, it goes on quite nicely underneath makeup as well if you give it enough time to like sink in before you put your primer on so yeah loving that makeup wise I only have two well I have two stores to share with you and um, both of them are kind of a little bit more pricey than your road shop brands. I'll start with the reason that I even thought that this video would be a good idea because I spent 60,000 won in Moonshot. Um, I was only intending to spend 40,000 won but I spent 60 because if you spent 60 you got a free gift and I am a sucker for free gifts. Moonshot as I said earlier is the beauty brand from YG Entertainment I'm not entirely sure how well it is performing because I know a couple of the stores have shut down um, but the one in Myeongdong is still going strong when I went in and the draw or at least what I wanted to get were the eyeshadow jelly pots because they really intrigued me. I'm not a huge eyeshadow wearer as most people who know me will tell you. It terrifies me and anything that makes the application or the blending a little bit easier are things that I am totally up for and the jelly pot idea seemed to be like something that I thought I could get on with they have three different types they have a matte, a pearl and a shimmer or a glitter so the matte is as it says kind of like on the tin you've got a matte shade um, the pearl is like a light shimmer shade and the glitter is glitter. And the shade that I absolutely fell in love with and I kept going to Hannah and Jessica when I was in the store with them going, oh it's so pretty, is M01, so it's matte number one, called French Toast. All of the jelly pots retail at 20,000 won, which is expensive for an eyeshadow in Korea. Like, that's expensive. But the formula is like jelly and the only problem that I have with them at the moment even though I haven't even tried them other than swatched them is that quite a bit of product collects in the little protective sealant um, so I haven't actually opened them fully yet because I need to get like a spatula to scrape it off the lid and put it in the pot um, but yeah the swatches look quite nice I have the shades French Toast <laughs> French Coast. I have the shade Deep Moment which is in Pearl, uh, the Pearl shade is P09 and I have G03 which is Starring Theme. The girl, I was only planning to get the matte and the pearl because glitters, ah, lighting don't be weird, um, glitter terrifies me um, but she was just like no 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 if you spend like another if you get another one you get a free gift and I was like oh wow a free gift what do you recommend and so she gave me the gold glitter with pink flex but the deep moment is more of a can I open it it's more like a dark a dark sort of like brownie color uh, they're all warm shades I'm not sure how I get on with warm shades but we'll see We'll see. It's an adventure. But yeah, the glitter is quite offensively glitterish, if you were wondering. I now have, after swatching it, I have glitter everywhere. The last two things are from Three Concept Eyes, and they are both eyeshadows. I can only really use point items from 3C because the base products are nowhere near light enough for my skin tone. Which I know, cry me a river, but. 
it sucks because their foundations do look really nice. I do want to try their Velvet Pore Primer, which is on my list, but the two things that I have picked up recently from there are two eyeshadows. I have a matte, oh they're both matte, they are the one colour sh sh the one colour shadows so that I can, you know, create an eye look. And I have them in Tomo Red and English Rose. English Rose, I wasn't intending to buy, but I actually love using it. I've used it far more than I have um, Tomo Red because it's this really pale, kind of like mauve taupey colour, and it's very subtle. It's not particularly, like, it's not as drastically pigmented straight off the bat as Tomo Red and you can see that in the swatch, but it's a really subtle shade to put on the lid and I find that I've been reaching for it when I have wanted to wear eyeshadow. It's just really subtle and it's easily buildable and quite blendable. The finish or the consistency is a little powdery, but I knew that was a problem with like three concept eyeshadows anyway. They retail at 12,001 each, so it's not that bad really. For, like I'm not expecting anything drastic. And then Tomo Red is a beautiful, beautiful bright red shade that I have brought because I do quite like the bold single colour eye look that is trending in Korea currently. The brights for three concept eyes are beautifully pigmented. They have a yellow which is called Yolk which I know is very popular as a shade when the yellow eye trends were going around. And they also have an orange shade which is pretty dreamy as well. Ah! I forgot to tell you about the Moonshot free gift, which was this. It's, well, I got two free gifts actually, which means I have to run and get the other one because samples, woo! The first free gift, which was the reason why I spent 60,001 instead of 40,001, was Moonshot gave me, or if you spent 60, you got a cute little mirror. And it comes in a little box, it's got its own little pouch, and it's adorable. Do I need it? I'm going to go with yes, probably, because I do travel quite a bit. The other thing was a little sample set of the Lip Treatment Blow, which I'm actually wearing right now, because my lips are dry, and yes, I do like it. It smells divine. Um, it's not sticky. Well, it's not too sticky. And the second one is a tester for their Cream Paint, cream paint Light fit which is in orange lily m211 i'm not entirely sure if it's like a specifically lip product or a specifically cheek product but i think that would look nice on either that is everything i told you it was short but i probably talk forever so that's what i do let me know down below if you have tried any of these products or if you want to recommend me anything I have quite sensitive skin, but I am always on the lookout for trying something new, especially in the realm of eye makeup. Let me know what shadows you really like that I can get in Korea, so don't suggest anything like Fenty, because I can't get that here. I'd love it if you came and said hi on my social channels. I have Instagram, I have Twitter, I have a Facebook page. I'm always on one of them, so you can come say hi to me whenever. You can check out my other videos if you want to, and I hope that you have had a really great day. Or you're going to have a really great day. Or if it's night time that you sleep well. So yeah, I will see you next time. Bye bye.